Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the steps that need to be followed while designing a class based component. So basically, whenever you're designing a component, you will be following these basic steps guys. These are some kind of principles also you can say. Okay, so the first step is nothing but basic design principles it should follow. It should follow some basic design principles. Okay, there are main mainly four basic principles guys which we'll be discussing in this lecture only don't worry okay so four basic design principles are applicable to component level design and have been widely adopted when object oriented software engineering is applied so basically these four steps are mandatory guys you can assume in that way okay so the first principle is nothing but open close principle okay so basically open close principle states that if there is a module okay so if you want to add some functionalities to it or if you want to okay so i'll be just reading it so after that i'll be explaining guys because it, that will be clear for you so a module or a component should be open for extension but closed for modification okay so if this assume this as a component or a module so whenever you want to add a functionality you should be able to directly add it you should not again modify the code okay i need to change this line and then only i can add this there you should not think or you should not do in that way Okay, you should be freely able to interact one more component, one more module or one more operation, one more function into the module. So without any issue. So that is nothing but the open close principle. So a module or component should be open for extension, but closed for modification. For extensions, it should be open, whereas for modifications, it should be closed. Okay, the designer should specify the component in a way that it allows it to be extended without the need of changing the internal code or designing the or design modifications. So to existing parts only we should add the things. So assume we are having a detector and detector is having an interface where it will read, enable, display and test. So these are some functions, right? So for this we are adding some components. So I can add n number of components, right? So any IoT component, so this is a IoT based project guys. So in IoT, any component will, will do what it will do guys. It will read some readings. It will enable something. It will display something. It will test something. So that these are four common things of every component, right? So that is the reason why you are having endless options to add any component. So any sensor can be added without any modification in the code. Yes. Okay. So now our project is following open close principle. We can say that. Okay. Similarly, the second principle is nothing but Liskov substitution principle. Okay. Subclasses, it's a simple statement guys. Subclasses should be substitutable for their base classes. Okay. So if there is a subclass of some main class, the subclass should represent all the characteristics of the main class or the base class. Or it can also be a replica or it can also be a replacement for it guys. For the main class. That is what... Lisco principle says that okay that is popularly called as LSP okay similarly dependency invention principle okay so depend depends on abstraction that is interface do not depend on consideration guys okay so the more a component depends on other concern component rather than on the interface the more difficult it will be to extend. So basically, assume in this way. So if a component is directly depending on another component, if you do some modifications in this component, this component will also get affected, guys. So this is the major disadvantage if there is a huge dependency or a direct dependency. Okay, so that is the reason why in components, we will be using an interface in between. You can assume interface as a broker, guys, in between. He, his duty is to just transfer the data in between like he has inputs and he has outputs that's it he will not do any kind of operations or he will not do anything basically we will be writing the function names there so that it will be clear for us okay okay so inside interface you will be writing the functions and there he will be acting as a broker by transferring the data to and from okay so interface segregation principle so many client specification interfaces are better than one general purpose interface so for several classes Specialized interfaces should be created to serve major categories of clients. Okay. So basically you should create multiple things guys. Okay. For interfaces also you should create multiple interfaces. Okay. So these are the basic four principles guys. For designing a class component or a component. For designing a component. Okay. So in the next lecture we will be going through the second step guys. That is nothing but component level design guidelines. So here we are having three different guidelines which we will be discussing in our next lecture. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.